Okay, over here, just I just left 1701 Union Boulevard, and on a beautiful summer, October evening. <laughs> and this was kind of a uh, already covered three events today. It's just, it was beautiful Saturday. It's starting to wind it down, and. One of the uh, local businesses that I liked on, on Facebook, Polcat Studio, I actually uh, initially saw them a few years ago at, at an event, and I've been wanting to do an article on them. So, just happened to come up in my in my Facebook feed the flyer for what's called what they what was called the Spooky Showcase. I was like, all right, did three already. Let's wind it. Let's wind this. One, let's wind this down with with the number four. I came over here, and what well, Polcat Studio is, it, it's a dance studio, but it's not your typical dance studio. There, this is pole dancing, and they also have a loop here. And before, just I, I want to clarify something here. This is the true dance and art form of. Pole dan of pole dancing and dancing. I'm not going any farther, okay? But like I said, you know, this is this is true dancing, and they had several ladies doing, uh, and including a, a, a lady and a gentleman doing a do a couples a couples dance. And I'll tell you what, this ended up being the perfect way to end. A long day on an hour's worth of sleep honestly I was truly amazed at the athleticism the strength the moves of every single one of the dances and the ladies and the gentlemen that performed they were they were dressed up in costumes to keep with the Halloween theme and some of the and some of the performances did have the spooky you know music to it which was really cool but i i stood there and then you know and in fact the uh the lady and the gentleman who did the couple's dance they actually their moves formed the story that Every single move they did, it's like, okay, what's going to happen next? Like, you're watching a movie or a TV show. You know, it was that engrossing. There was another lady who, her first perform her performance, she just seemed, you could tell the passion she had for what she was doing by her moves. There were times where it was, it almost seemed like the, nothing around her existed except for the moves and the dance that she was doing the uh, uh, other ladies to the same thing with with everyone other ladies were their performance included some amazing athlete athletic moves combined with telling uh, some of them actually told the story of the song through their dance their movement and their movements Overall, like I said, this was just, it ended up being the perfect way for me to end the night, for, to end the night and to get that one last one in for the one last article in. It was just, it blew, it blew my mind watching this. I stood there in sheer awe at times. Not, a, not every single dance, not every single movement revolved around the pole. You know, it's a pole, you know, it's, there were several poles there. They incorporate, they, the dancers use the poles, like, just as props at times. Uh, or as they may, instead of, okay, well, here's the pole, here's myself, I'm going to grab onto it, do my moves, etc., including, and the loop including, including the loop. I saw some amazing, I was just like, Wow, literally just stopped and wow. Um, but it was, the pole became, for each one of the dancers, the pole and the props they used, the chair, the loop, became more, became a part of their dance, almost like at times, like a partner. Not just 
here's an object that I'm going to use. They incorporated it, they incorporated the poles, like it, you know, just like it was a true part of the, of the overall dance and expression itself. I was informed that <clears throat> they have a pull-a-thon competition coming up and the magazine is hopefully we'll be covering this. This is something entirely new, which in all honesty, here in Leo Valley after four years, I've been desperate for something new and something exciting. I'm not cutting down Leo Valley at all. A lot of exciting things to do here, but after you've done it for four years, it kind of, you know, okay. It's, it's like anywhere you live. You do the same thing over and over, it kind of gets more, you know, routine after a while. So this is something, a new and exciting area. Look for an article on Polkat Studio coming up in the near future. And this is something I'm really, I'm really excited to be covering and to be doing an article about. To, every, to all the dancers there, thank you so much for an incredible performance and an amazing way to end, a truly amazing way to end my night. I cannot express enough gratitude. I'm, it's from the heart and very serious. So, on what may be one of the last drop the gorgeous autumn evenings here in the Lehigh Valley for the year. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff, it's been a very long day. I'm beat and I have a long day coming up tomorrow. Everybody, like they keep saying, and I mean, and I keep saying it for a reason. You get one shot at every moment in life. These, la these ladies and that gentleman, and look around you every day. You get one shot every moment in life, and you only get, you only get one shot at this whole life. Make the most of it, take every chance you can. You never know what might happen.